Northern Avenue, Rogers Avenue, Classen Avenue, Washington Avenue, Bedford Avenue. Gone are most of the African American and Caribbean residents who have lived there for decades. The popular name for this change is gentrification. Joining me to discuss what's going on in this section of Brooklyn are the Assemblywoman for the district, Diana Richardson, and Richard Hurley, an attorney who is at the center of this fight to protect residents from being pushed out of their homes by landlords. Welcome to Brooklyn 45. Thank you so much for having me. What is the reality of this gentrification? The reality is that gentrification is causing massive displacement in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Um, although people see gentrification to be a thing of race, it is really about economics and just the cost of living. It has now caused so much to live in the outer boroughs. People are now migrating to Brooklyn in uh, tremendous numbers. And now what we see is that landlords are taking advantage of the situation and are rising the rents and you know doing all kinds of scrupulous activities. That is why you see the change of the demographics of the neighborhood. People are coming into my office every day with housing concerns, um, and so the situation is becoming dire day by day. As a city and a state, we have an obligation to provide affordable housing, real affordable housing, with the area median income levels of you know, directly in that neighborhood. And so we don't see a lot of that happening right now. And again, massive displacement in large numbers in Crown Heights. I'm coming back at you for, for this question, and then I'm gonna to come to Mr. Hurley. What, you, what is your office doing? To help well, right now we've been playing a lot of defense instead of offense. Defense in terms of people coming to us uh, near eviction, us having to do everything we can do, working with the lawyers to try to protect and keep them in their home. At the state level, we were pushing for stronger rent laws with stronger tenant protections, which would have caused a lot of the loopholes. It would have closed a lot of the loopholes. However, in the assembly, we passed that bill. It was a Keith Wright bill. We passed that bill in the assembly. However, with a Republican Senate, we haven't gotten any movement. Therefore, our needs still remain the same here on the ground. This is why, as a local municipality, New York City should be doing all that it can do, especially where their city-owned property is concerned, to ensure that people have an affordable place to live. As you know, homelessness numbers reached a record of 60,000 just over this past weekend. So we see gentrification not only in Crown Heights, but we see it all around the city. And you have to remember, gentrification really equals a loss of housing stock. 